So, the Toronto Raptors are one game away from winning the 2019 NBA Finals and are on verge of ending the Warriors' dynasty and ending their three-peat. So, today we are doing a NBA 2K19 challenge that kind of reflects what the Raptors did in real life, kind of. Because every player on the Toronto Raptors has been selected after pick 14, which means none of the players were lottery selections, which is crazy. So that's what today's challenge is going to be. We're going to randomly select a team and we have to win a championship with only players that have never been drafted in the lottery. So I'm going to stop spanking this in three, two, one, and we get the Philadelphia 76ers, which is actually going to be a really fun team to use because Embiid can't use them. Simmons can't use them. I'm pretty sure I can use Tobias and Jimmy, correct? Um, I can. Okay, so those two players I definitely can use. But like I said, Ben Simmons got to go. Joel Embiid has to go because they were top five picks. I believe Redick was a second round. No, Redick's got to go as, t uh, as well. But he's a free agent because I am starting here in the 2019 free agency. It's actually crazy to think that there's not one single lottery pick on the Raptors finals team. I'm like 99% sure. So, Zare Smith is also... No, he doesn't have to be traded because he was selected 16th. Okay, so that's something nice to see. Jonah Bolden, I believe, was a second round pick. So, yeah, he can obviously stay. But, like I said, Simmons and Embiid have to go. So, if I want a draft pick in this draft, I would have to trade for the 15th pick or lower. But, obviously, the 15th pick could be the best because um, it's the first non-modern pick. Zach Levine's a lottery pick, so I can't trade for him. Obviously, you can't trade for the second overall pick because that would be technically a lottery pick. Josh Richardson was the guy. That was a drift in the lottery, but I feel like I could definitely get better value. Like a Rodrigo Bear, who was a second round pick in real life. So, or uh, late first, excuse me, sorry. Uh, Buddy Healed, he was like a top five pick, so can't do that. Aaron Gordon, same with him. Dinwiddie, second round pick. Michael Porter, was he a lottery pick? Yeah, he was the last pick in the lottery last year. Owen Depot was a top five pick, so that's useless to me. True Holiday, could pick up True Holiday, but he is 29 and he, he regresses hard in this game. All right, not really the best options in the world. I'm surprised I can't find any options for Joel Embiid unless he's on my untouchables, which, okay, he is. Um, and then, yeah, let's, okay, can't move Joel. Obviously, the main guy you could trade for, the best probably non-modern player in the NBA is Giannis, I guess, and Kawhi, like those two. And Kawhi is going to be a free agent. So that could be something on our radar to pick up. But I don't really know who to trade Embiid for. I mean, Paul George, nope, 10th overall pick, I'm sorry. Uh, Jokic. Uh, I mean, Jokic was a second round pick, so that would be kind of clean, but damn, Embiid is nowhere near his star value, or it's just at least a whole star. Embiid is only three and a half? What? Okay, this challenge is a lot harder than I thought. I didn't realize how many of like the top NBA players were drafted in the lottery that aren't big men. So, I don't really know who I want to trade Joel Embiid for. I guess Rudy Gobert is probably the option here. Damn. All right. So I'm going to move or I'm going to try to, yeah, just do straight up Joel Embiid for Rudy Gobert. If they don't do this, I'm actually going to be kind of annoyed. Okay. So they did that straight up. Uh, we can keep, like I said, Jimmy Butler, Tobias Harris. Wait, Tobias Harris. Was he a second round pick? No, he was a 19th, but can still keep him, obviously. So NBA draft. Like I said, I kind of want to get the 15th pick in the draft to get some rookie. So who's picking 15 in this game? Okay. I'm going to try to trade 24 and four second round picks to 15 from the or to detroit we get that so whoever we pick even if it's zion it's a non lottery pick so it counts okay so with the 15th pick in the nba draft uh i did take nasir widow out of unc but i do also have to now trade ben simmons uh bauer declines his player option kind of as expected jonathan simmons 73 overall i'm gonna let him walk okay so i think i'm gonna be making this trade now i'm gonna be, end up moving dream on a small forward but yeah, Draymond, who was a second round pick, um, he's one of the, I guess, really good guys that I can move for. Ben Simmons for Draymond Green. I know a lot of people would hate this trade. I mean, it's either like Drew Holiday, him. Was Bledsoe a lottery pick? No. I mean, Bledsoe would have regressed and I do need a point guard. Huh. All right. You know what? I um, Do I get Bledsoe or Draymond Green? They're both 29. You know what? I'm going to get Bledsoe because... Uh, yeah, because we already have Tobias Harris if I do re-sign him. And we'll get Pat Connington, too, who could be a nice bench guy. So, I'm going to pick up Eric Bledsoe. Probably should have tried to get another first round pick in there. That was kind of stupid by me. So, free agency. Uh, if we do want to bring back Jimmy Baller and Tobias Harris, we would have no money for a, uh, Kawhi Leonard. So, I don't even know if Kawhi Leonard would sign with us. But I'm going to try to bring back, obviously, Tobias and Jimmy Baller. I do want to see, though, if I gave him a max deal, would he choose us? Because then I would have to think about, like, what I'd have... 
I don't know. Would I rather have Kawhi or maybe Jimmy if I could somehow pull that off? Uh, so I'm going to offer Kawhi this deal. I don't think he'll accept it. Okay, he actually will. Well, that's huge. Uh, board man gets paid. Um, I don't know if there's any way I could keep Jimmy and get Jimmy and Kawhi, but I'm going to try it. Um, if that means I got to move Rudy Gobert or Bledsoe, I will. Um, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. So uh, I might have to move Rudy Gobert for maybe like a Clint Capella. Like, that would save me the most money in my eyes. And, of course, they didn't offer me... Ooh, Montrez Harrell, though. He was a second-round pick. That actually could be a pretty good option because I would save 20 mil there. Which, you know what? I'm going to try to do this trade. Damn, why does Harrell have more stars? But could I get the Miami 2021 20, pick? And I'll give you Jonah Bolden uh, and another first from OKC. And I'll give you a... I'll give you three second round picks because that'd be huge to get the Miami first. Okay, so we just picked up the Miami first. Now I believe we have enough to bring in Kawhi Leonard and Jimmy Butler. Unfortunately, Tobias Harris would have to go, but I would choose Kawhi Leonard over Tobias Harris any day of the week, obviously. So I would like to bring back TJ McConnell though. So I think we're chilling there. Uh, what was Kemba Walker selected ninth? Yeah, I, I knew he was in a lottery pick. Like none of these guys are lottery picks outside of Chris Middleton. Uh, Brogdon, not a lottery pick either. Neither is Keandre Jordan or Paul Millsap. Okay, four second round picks in a row. Uh, D Rose definitely was he number one? He was number one, right? Yeah. So uh, Derek Favors was a top five pick. Rudy Gay, I believe, was a right. No, he was a top ten pick. And it's Kander was a top ten pick. So yeah, we can't really look at those guys. All right, so we're gonna pick up Jimmy Butler though and Kawhi Leonard, which is huge. And like I said, I do want to bring back T.J. McConnell as a backup spot. So after bringing back T.J. McConnell, we have one, two, three, four. Uh, the two is looking a little weak. Not gonna lie. Uh, five, six, seven, eight. I definitely need a backup center though. Um, I don't know who I could really get. It was Brooke Lopez a top ten, uh, top fifteen pick. He was Bobby Portis was. I can pick up Bobby Portis. I can afford Bobby Portis too. All right, you don't want to pick up Bobby Portis to come off the bench. That's not a terrible option either. So let me just double check that nobody is a lottery pick. Kawhi fifteen, McConnell undrafted, Portis twenty two, Zaire Smith sixteen, Nazir Little fifteen. Bledsoe, 18. Connington, second round. Harrell, second round. Butler, 30. All right, we're chilling. All right, so we're going to go to training camps. And since I think Zare Smith is going to start at the two, I am going to send him non-top potential. And I will send Nazir Weddle, who, you know, I probably could start at the two. He's only 6'6". So, you know what? I might start him at the two. We'll see that. And then our third on-top potential, we'll send it to Montrez Harrell. Uh, he's going to be a clutch guy for us because... I don't know. He's a little bit of an undersized, obviously, center, but I think we can make it work. All right, so I don't really like that we don't have a backup center off the bench because I am starting Jimmy at the two and Bobby Portis at the four. So this is actually a really good starting five. Like, this is championship caliber starting five, but the bench, we don't really have a backup center for. I mean, I could look to maybe trade like a Pat Connington for a backup center, but obviously that center can't be in the lottery or been drafted in the lottery. But I actually think I found... Okay, all right. This is actually perfect. We're going to be trading him for Mitchell Robinson, who was a second round pick, and we're going to get a second round pick out of that. That is really sweet. So Mitchell Robinson is obviously going to be the backup center coming off the bench. We're going to give him more than 13 minutes, definitely. Uh, we'll probably give TJ 14. We'll give him... Uh, we'll give him like 17 and then we can go probably one must to Kawhi and Butler and one must to Harrell And then we'll give Mitchell Robinson 20 minutes. All right, so system proficiency uh, We're actually pretty good defense, which usually never happens. Bobby Portis kind of holds us down a little bit uh, Which is kind of funny, but uh, is there anything that's four stars now? So we'll stay at defense for this year and our preseason power king is four in NBA.com five on 2k sports four in Mark Spears I think we're pretty much title contenders in year one, so let's see how this goes. Okay, so it's season number one. This team goes 64 and 18. So pretty damn good already. Uh, Curry wins MVP though. Zion Rookie of the Year. Six Man of the Year goes to Serge Ibaka. Defensive Player of the Year, Giannis. Most Improved goes to CJ McCollum. And Coach of the Year, we get it with Brett Brown. We got no Kawhi though on NBA First Team, but Zion already. And the, I don't know, the Pels just, 90% of the time, they don't draft him. Uh, no Kawhi on NBA Second Team. There's uh, a beat on the Jazz. All right, pretty interesting there. Oh no, we did get Kawhi, excuse me, on NBA Second Team. Good to see that. And then here's NBA Third Team. I was kind of expecting to maybe see Ben Simmons who is on the what team is Ben Simmons on the Bucks oh my god I paired up Ben Simmons and Giannis that's a fun team but uh there's Kawhi on all defensive first team no Jimmy on defensive second team uh and I don't think we're gonna have Nasir Weddle making any of these but we are the one seed in the east which is nice we're taking on the Pacers in round one I do want to see how the Bucks did though they were the two seed yeah with Ben Simmons Brogdon and Giannis that is some oh my god how did they have they had capped aside Tobias 
They brought him back to the Bucks. Oh my god. Wow, that's a pretty steal of a deal for Tobias Harris. That's nice. Wow. All right. Oh my god. Th that's a stock team. I mean, their center is their center play is not really that good, but wow, that's that's filthy. They're like the Milwaukee 76ers. So we'll check out our player stats though. Uh, Kawhi was our leading scorer, followed by Montrez Harrell actually, 17 and 8.7. Jimmy Butler was pretty disappointing scoring. Uh, there was uh, Montrez was really good. He's gonna be due for a pretty big payday. Uh, there's Bledsoe 16 and 6. Bobby Portis 14 and 9. And then there's Nasir Mitchell, TJ, and Smith. We go over to team stats, points per game. We were eighth, all right. Allowed, we were first, all right. So we had the best defense in the league and second best point differential behind the Milwaukee Bucks. So uh, the Milwaukee Bucks won 59 games. So we won five more. Uh, I'll show you guys who the Pacers have real quick. They have um, uh, Ricky Rubio as point guard. Okay, I actually like that pickup. They brought back Boyan, brought in Paul Mosa, Miles Turner. Okay, so oh, and Cam Reddish fell to them at 20. Damn, all right. Well, I could have maybe drafted Cam Reddish, but I did get him. And I believe yesterday's Hornets video, so I didn't want to do that again. Uh, two to one, we're up three to one. Can we win in five? And we win in five. Now we're going on to face the Brooklyn Nets or the Celtics. We're taking on the Nets here in round two, who have D'Angelo Russell, Karis Levert, uh, who would have been pretty interesting now. Modern pickup: uh, Torian Prince, uh, Jabari Parker, Jared Allen, Spencer Dinwiddie, Nikola Mirotic. <laughs> I used to say Mirotic, uh, Mirotic. It's Mirotic, obviously. But when I used to do a box my G, I'm back in my two give fifteen. I always thought it was. Mirotic. It was really cringy. But we're up 1-0 on the Nets, 2-0. I was just really waiting to see this Eastern Conference Finals between us and the Bucks. Imagine the Bucks don't beat Toronto without Kawhi. Did they, uh, and anybody new in Toronto? Uh, no, not really. So, yeah. Taking on the Bucks, this is going to be the series that we were kind of expecting. We beat them by 20 in Game 1, though. Kawhi drops 32. Harrell with a double-double. Jimmy with kind of a near triple-double. Um, yeah, but Ben Simmons, 11, 5, and 3, shot 3 for 14, didn't shoot a 3, Tobias Harris shot pretty poorly. Alright, game 2, uh, another one in Philly, we do pick up the dub, we win this one by 9, Kawhi drops 21 and 7, Bobby Porter's 20 and 12, game 3, are we gonna go up 3, oh wow, okay, Giannis, just not really having a good Eastern Conference Finals, list. or like, he's playing great, but... I guess we're really getting no help from Ben Simmons or Tobias Harris. And are we going to sweep them? No, they do win this game by a decent amount, by 29. Uh, man, that was 29. Uh, now, game five. All right. We lost. Now we're going to game six. Bobby Portis was our winning scorer. I don't know. It's not really a good thing. Can we win in six? Don't go to a game seven. Okay, we win in six. I'll take it. Uh, we ended up winning by a lot of points. 44. Uh, good stuff, so Butler. Leonard, Harold Portis. All right, so we're taking on the OKC Thunder here in the NBA Finals. Who have Ross Roberson, DeAndre playing the four. Come on. That should be an automatic mismatch for us. Like, that should be in our favor. We're up 1-0. That's what I'm talking about. Game two. Can we go up 2-0? Nope, 1-1. Game three. We're up 2-1. Game four. They're going to tie it up. They do. All right. Game five. Uh, damn it. We're down 3-2. Oh, all right. Game six. I'm definitely going to simcast this and hop. hop in if it's close all right we're on the road though damn it damn it damn it guys don't do this to me don't do this to me all right uh down by three 90 seconds left is there any shot i pull this off probably not oh my god and they're taking free throws that sucks all right i don't even know who's at the line for who even is that that looks like a baby westbrook but like Oh, it's Yogi Ferrell. I guess I just didn't know who Yogi Ferrell looked like. Damn it. So we're about to be down by five. This is not going to be good because he's a point guard. Yeah, probably going to make both. <sighs> All right. But Yogi Ferrell is guarding Kawhi. This shouldn't be like, this should be a quick post fadeaway. All right. Why did you just do a hook shot? I mean, it went in, but why? All right. We need to score quickly. We're still down by five. This is not good. Uh, if Kawhi is literally going to be guarded by Yogi Ferrell, I'm going to do this literally every time. Uh, there we go. Easy money. It's just going to work every time. Uh, still down by three. We need to stop. All right. They're probably going to go to Bledsoe on the post, but since Robert can't shoot, I come over with the help. He misses that. Let's go. We're out. Uh, let's give it to Kawhi again if Yogi Ferrell is going to be guarding him. Kawhi. All right. Just back. Okay. They're going to double team. Over to Harrell. Out to... All right. Uh, crap, crap. Crap. No, no, no. Oh, my God. Okay. They're going to pass it to Jimmy. Jimmy for three. Please, Jimmy. Please. Jimmy! Jimmy! All right, I'm going to double team on Westbrook because Roberson obviously can't shoot. He's tired. No way. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. Oh, uh, all right. I don't think we're going to get a two for one, but I think I'm definitely going to just try to score. Uh, I want to hit a three. Oh, pass it to Harold. Easy money. Easy money. All right. So now we're going to play the fouling game. Uh, I don't know who I want to foul. Like, obviously, I don't want to foul Westbrook. Uh, if we do a full court press, I guess. 
Um, I, it's not really gonna work. I want him to get the ball out. Can we get it in Robert Sands hands? Please, please get in Robert Sands hands. Oh my god, oh my god, we almost got a steal. Backcourt, backcourt! Yes, let's go! A backcourt! Alright, here we go. Uh, I want the ball in Kawhi Leonard's hands. They finally put in a sub, though. It's Wilson Chandler. Are they gonna be double teaming me? Uh, cause then it's obviously just gonna go to Jimmy. Alright, they're not double teaming. Let's go. Everybody, everybody out. Everybody out. Uh, let's get a screen on the left. Alright, please, Kawhi, don't, don't disappoint me. Kawhi, Kawhi, for the love of the city! Yes, let's go! You ain't that meek reference? Let's go! Alright, we're going super defensive. I don't know who would be really in. I guess they want to put Andy Jr. Payne. I don't remember if he was a lottery pick out of Michigan State, but screw it. We're just obviously going to have... Actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to put Nazir Widow in at the three, and then put Kawhi in at the four. Yeah, okay. So, two seconds left. We're up by one, so obviously they don't need a three. Oh, this is going to scare me. Oh, my God. This is game six, too. So, this is just to go to a game seven. Okay. So, uh, A minus perimeter D for Little. They're going to go to Westbrook. No way. I'll get that block. Let's go. We're going to a game seven. We're going to a game seven. All right, boys. Game seven. Here we go. We're going to be at home in Philly, I believe. Yep. All right. Don't get blown out because that would be really anticlimactic after last game. All right. Got a three-point lead. Now, we're down by four. Great. All right. Back and forth. Down by seven. All right. Not good. All right. Down by one. Just under 90 seconds left. Can I pull off the double, I guess, upset? Because we're, I don't know. Let's just win this game. All right, so unfortunately, we don't have the ball. Wow, that is, I don't, in the top right, or like the top of the screen, you see like all the people on the computers? I guess that's pretty cool. I didn't really know they had that. Oh my God. All right, bad defense by me. Really bad defense by me there. All right, are they really good? They're going to have DeAndre Jordan on Kawhi. All right. That's a pretty big mismatch because I could just go cross him up, get right by him. Okay, maybe not. And I'm going to miss. Oh, I love you, Nasir. Uh, just go up again. And he's going to get that. Mm -hmm. And Paul George with the miss. But DeAndre Jordan is just a lot better of a rebounder than Bobby Portis. So that puts us down by five. Great. All right. Uh, is Jimmy not in? No, Jimmy isn't. All right, Kawhi, I need you to hit this three. Please. Not a great release. All right, Westbrook for a jumper. No good. All right, I need kind of a three here. I need a three. Is it going to be Jimmy? No, Harold. Ah, I should have shot that. Um, all right, Butso and one by any chance. And one. All right, three-point game. Oh, we're going to have to play the fouling game. I hate this. All right, so I did foul Paul George. He made both free throws. Uh, give it to Kawhi. I need a three here. God damn it. This is not a good play design for Kawhi. Three. Uh, Jimmy Butler for three, please. And that's not going to go in. Uh, back out to Jimmy. To Kawhi, please. Kawhi, I need you to hit this. And there's only three seconds left. And he misses it anyway. You know what? Fine. Well, we're going to have to do it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's not how I wanted this series to end. Well, that's just not a sight I wanted to see. The OKC Thunder win the finals. They beat us in seven. I had a really good game six. Pretty poor game seven. So, we're going to go to the offseason. I really don't know what we were going to upgrade. Maybe if I can upgrade the four spot or get it. Or, I don't know. I don't know. We'll try to figure it out. I know I just have to change the lottery odds. Even though I'm not going to be picking, I still want to, I guess, have that realism in here. Oh, but I forgot. We have Miami's pick next year. So that is actually a pretty big trade asset. But I really don't know what power forward we can get for Bobby Portis and that pick. Like, let's just say I threw a Bobby Portis and that Miami pick. I don't know how many stars it has right now. Please tell me it has at least two stars in trade value. Okay, it does. I don't really know what I could get because obviously, like I said, I wanted a power forward. Ah, uh, not really getting many good offers that are non-lottery type players. Like a Baca, yes, but he's not. I mean, I wonder if we could do a Baca straight up for Bobby Portis or just like throw in. Ooh, Roko. Huh. Roko's an RJ. You guys know I love Roko in 2K. I think he's like a perfect fit for a lot of teams. But I want to see if I could get Beverly. Okay. And I don't want to give up the Miami pick. And Ibaka, though. For Portis. Who was my backup point guard last year? It was McConnell. So McConnell, Portis. And I will give you my first this year. Or whatever. Next year in a second. Would they do this? Okay. So we just picked up Serge Ibaka. Who's a lot better rebounder. Because if we're going up against the Andre Jordan and Steven Adams. And our center is 6'8". Yeah. I'm probably going to move. Harold a power forward and then keep Ibaka at center because Ibaka is a little bit taller. Um, so that's what we're going to roll out for now. And we just definitely got a better defensive point back, a point guard in Patrick Beverly. Now we still have that Miami pick. I think that's going to come into like, I guess the conversation next year, if we don't win it all, when they're actually picking, say it's a top five pick, then I can package that pick and maybe Montrez Harold's big deal because he's going to be a free agent. Um, now, you know what? I yeah, I like Brett Brown, but I am going to fire him for Jacob Underwood, who's the same system defense, but his ratings are a lot better. I mean, coaches do go a long way in this game, so I'm going to make that move. For team player options, I'm definitely going to bring back Smith. He'll probably be the ninth man next year, and Mitchell Robinson, obviously, are back up big. So I think the only free agent that's coming to mind is Montrez Harrell. I don't know if we have anybody else. No, and some other teams are trying to get him, so I'm going to overpay the crap out of him. 
Uh, let's see, any other free agents here that aren't lottery guys? Siakam, but he is restricted. Al Horford, right? No, just kidding. It was the third round pick. I don't know why I thought he could have been a second round pick in my mind. Uh, Marcus Saul, he was a second round pick. Um, he could have been somebody, but I don't think we could really afford that. Uh, Buddy Hill was obviously a top. What was he? Three or four? Yo, he was six. Oh, okay. Uh, Valanciunas, I believe. No, he was a top five pick. Yeah. Uh, White side second round pick Murray, top ten. Some bonus. He was eleven. Uh, John Brown was what, like four, three, whatever. Barnes was top ten. All right, yeah. So we're not gonna really go after anybody else, but we're gonna bring back Harold. So I'll see you guys with kind of what the rotation's looking like next year. Not gonna be too different. All right, so Bledsoe is regressing, which is uh, I kind of expected because he is, I believe, 30 now. But yeah, here's the rotation. Only thing different is Harold's now a power forward, and we kind of swapped Abaka for for Bobby Portis, and then the bench is Little Robinson, Beverly, and Smith. So pretty good defensively. I really don't know Smith's defensive ratings in this game. Uh, it's actually pretty good. All right, so our assistant proficiency is three and a half stars in defense. There is no four-star balance or nothing like that. So we will stay defense. We were one game away from winning the finals last year. We're number one, number three, and number one on the preseason power rankings. So let's hope we can actually win it all this year. All right, guys. So Zion wins MVP in his, what, second season in the NBA. So that is not impressive at all, right? Uh, we go out and go 65 and 17. Now, that is pretty impressive. RJ Hampton, rookie of the year for the Orlando Magic. He had a really good season. Ah, uh, look who's sixth man of the year. These are, like, actually really good numbers for Bobby Portis. 18 and 9. How old is he? 26? Damn, those are like kind of like all-star type numbers. 38% from three. That's like really good. Uh, Anthony Davis, Stevens, boy, the year most improved goes to RJ Barrett on the Lakers. Jacob Underwood uh, is coach of the year. So we get coach of the year again um, with a different coach this time. So no 76ers at All-NBA first team. All-NBA second team, no Sixers either. Ben Simmons on the Bucks though. Um, and no Sixers on the third team either. So no Kawhi, nothing. Damn, he does get all defense the first team now. Um, and that looks like it's all we're gonna get on awards. We are the one seed, the Bucks are the three seed, the Celtics are the two seed. Okay, so we'll check out the stats and then we'll obviously get into this playoff sim. Uh, Kawhi, 21 and seven, about four assists. Hopefully he maybe plays a little bit better in the playoffs. I might up his minutes. Uh, Harrell, 17 and eight. Bledsoe, about 16 and six. Butler, 16 and five. If we don't win it all, Bledsoe is probably gonna get traded. Uh, Little, 12. Um, there's Ibaka, Beverly, Robinson, and Smith. And then if we go over to team stats, points per game, uh, we were fifth in scoring. Allowed, we were first in, um, so that's really good. And then point differential, we were first. Um, and, of course, the Miami Heat made the playoffs. So their pick is basically useless now. Should have traded it last offseason. All right. Uh, can we just please? I mean, I'm I'm guessing round one is going to be fine. We're taking on Orlando, who have RJ Hampton, though, which is actually a really cool addition to, I think they still had Vooch. Bamba, Isaac, Gordon, or maybe they don't have Vooch. I don't know. Either way, we are going to sw gentlemen sweep them. Yes. Okay. So we're taking on Cleveland here in round two. I uh, don't know who they have outside of Sexton. They got Jordan Clarkson, Kevin Love. Who did they draft in the year one? They drafted Jackson A's all the way at five. Interesting. And they're not even starting them. I don't know if that's really a great idea. All right. So round two here against the Cavs. They're not really that good. I would say the Magic are better than them. So we are going to sweep. Nope. Gentlemen sweep them. Can we gentlemen sweep them? There we go. So we're going on the Eastern Conference Finals. So the Celtics, you swept Milwaukee. All right. Uh, so Boston has Kyrie Irving, Jalen Brown, Tatum, Clark, and Jordan. Uh, none of these guys besides Jordan are lottery picks, but I guess Jordan ended up here. He got traded for the third time in like, oh my God. <laughs> Look at how many times he got traded. He played on six teams in three years. That's absurd. Um, wait, six teams in three years or it's five teams in three years? I'm actually curious. Five teams in three years. One, two, three, four. Yeah, five. All right. So, we're, and then it's, uh, Houston, Minnesota over here. So I don't know. I'm hoping we don't lose to Boston. That would kind of suck. Uh, it's tied 1-1. One, one. We're down 2-1. to one. We're down 3-1. to one. Okay. I, I don't know how. 3-2. to two. Can we force a game? 7. There we go. Please win in 7, please. Come on! After year 1, this challenge looks so easy for me. Oh, my God. I, I Do I move Jimmy Butler? Do I move Jimmy Butler? Wow. Shout out to Towns, though. Jimmy's probably pissed. Jimmy! Oh, my God. I mean, he was solid in the playoffs. Damn. How is Bledsoe in the playoffs? Uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna move Bud, so I don't know for who though. Wait, would, did Jimmy shoot well? He did. I guess I won't move Jimmy, but I, I'm definitely moving Bud, so but I don't know for who. All right, so that Miami pick sucks. It's at 19. I was hoping it would be top five, so that's a bummer. Uh, Jacob Underwood kind of maybe should have kept Brett Brown at this point. All right, so we'll just get the best available assistant GM. Now, if I'm gonna move that uh, Miami first and Bud, so uh, I don't know for what point guard though. So let's go to player finder though. Let's check this out. Point guards. Who is the best non-monetary point guard? I feel like point guards, like, 
There isn't many of them. All right, the best non-moderate point guard is probably Bledsoe. It's Bledsoe. Um, I guess Dinwiddie's pretty good, and he's only 28. I might go after Deontay Murray, actually. That is actually just, just go straight defense. I mean, Bledsoe's a great defender. He might even be better than Murray, but I'm just going to take him. He's 24. I don't even have to give up the Miami pick. So we're going to do Bledsoe in a second for Murray. Now... I don't know. Uh, could I maybe move a Baca in the 19th pick for Rudy Gobert? That would be a pretty, I think, clean pickup, and we would have, like, one of the best defensive teams in the league. Or we could move Harold to the center spot, Kawhi to the four, Butler to the three, and start Brogdon. That's interesting. Um, Danilo, no, he was a top 10 pick by the Knicks. I might still just try to do... Uh, please don't tell me Gobert's a free agent. He might be, honestly. Uh, is Gobert a free agent? <laughs> of course he is. So I can't trade the Miami pick right now. Uh, so, I don't know. I, I really don't know what to do. Who's the best center besides Jokic? And, I mean, we could try to go Capella. Can we just go Capella straight up for Ibaka? Uh, I'll add exception. No. And I'll throw in two second round picks. And I'll throw in three second round picks. Alright, so we just got a uh, Capella. Now, we do have that 19th pick, which i going to try to see. Ah, oh, damn it. I don't know if that 19th pick can get me, like Malcolm Brogdon. I don't think we have the money to do this. Yeah, unfortunately, we don't. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to make the selection, and I'll see you guys after these signs with who I draft. All right, guys, so I did got, get a guy named Cade Cunningham. He's a 77 overall, so I was like, why not? I guess he'll play for us, but I want to see, since we do have Nazir Little and Beverly and Robinson off the bench, could I package Cunningham and Smith? for like a really good, I guess, bench piece or even a starter at this point. I don't mind moving Montrezl Harold to the bench. Uh, this is about six, seven mil worth of salary. Romeo Langford and Brandon Clark, both guys that aren't lottery picks. Actually, Clark was, but I don't know. Terrence Ross, he was definitely a lottery pick. I think he might have been top 10. Dumbia, yeah, lottery to the Hornets. Bogdanovich, interesting. Um, Achua, all right, really not getting anything like standing out to me. Uh, Opala. Okay, what was... Hey, no, he was a lottery. What about Nico? Was he a lottery? Yeah, unfortunately. Lucas Samanik? I wouldn't mind another backup big. You know what? I might do... You know what? I'm going to do that trade because I'm going all in on this year. And the team is set. I'll see you guys. Um, actually, I don't know. Maybe I'm going to try to... Let's see. Is Gobert here? He is. So I'm going to wait till they... Oh, my God. Please tell me nobody signed Beverly. I didn't know he was a free agent. Shoot. Uh, Beverly, please tell me you didn't sign elsewhere. Beverly, please. Okay, good. Let me get Beverly back. And then I'm going to still try to trade for Gobert. I mean, I know I already had Gobert, but I'm going to try to get him back. Uh, Damn, they really want Jimmy Butler? Damn. All right. I mean, can I do Montrez for uh, Gobert at this point? Um, I, I don't want to throw on Mary. Like, no. I'm going to do two first round picks, and they're going to do that. So, you know what? I'm going to say screw it. And I am going to play Clint Capella and Gobert simultaneously this year. It's going to be a Murray, Butler, Kawhi, Capella, Gobert, starting five. We're going to have hella height. All right, so this is going to be the team. Murray, Butler, uh, Leonard, Capella, Gobert, Little, Robinson, Samanik, Beverly. It's really good defensively. It's still really good offensively. It's actually four-star defensive potential. And also, grid and grind would be. But I think defense can win championships here. We're number one, number three, number one. This is going to be the final year, so we better win a title. I look like a ghost on this side. All right, guys. In the third and final season, we go nice in 13. Zion wins MVP. Rookie of the year goes to Jalen Johnson. Mamelo, sixth man. Uh, Eddie Davis, defensive player of the year, most improved. And we get, uh, is Kizio Paula. And we get coach of the year for the third straight year. Damn, RJ Hampton is already on being first team 25 okay those are just op numbers uh no 76ers on all may first or second but we do get Kawhi on NBA third we do get Kawhi on all defensive first and murray and all defensive second you love to see that um and we obviously had no rookie so we're the one seed uh we'll check out the stats and then get into the sim real quick so yes finally jimmy drops a 20 point season thank you took you long enough here um Kawhi was really good there's murray Capella, Little, Gobert, Robinson, Samanik, Beverly, if you want to pause and see. I'm really excited to see our defensive statistic number. So scoring, we were second. Defense, oh my god. We're so good at defense. Holy crap. And number one in point differential. All right. I'm going to just press simulate playoffs. I think we should get through the first two rounds fine. And of course, we lost game one of round. We're not, I, I don't, don't do this to me. All right, 2-2. Two, two. We're going to win the series, so I'm not even that worried. We're up 3-2. We're going to win in 7. No, we're going to win in 7. I hate it took to 7, but we're going to win in 7. Stupid, stupid, stupid. And watch us sweep Boston, because I guess Detroit is so good. Nope, we're tied 2-2. 3-2 two to two. Uh, two us. Can we win in 6? Thank you. Now, we're taking on Milwaukee here. 
We're up 1-0. Can we go up 2-0? There we go. 3-0. Can we go up 4-0? All right. We had such an easy, I guess, series against Milwaukee. or just time against them in this video. And we are going to beat... Don't blow... Okay. We won a title. That was what I'm talking about. I just wanted to simulate it full so I had no stress and just let it play out. Kawhi is your finals MVP. I can't believe we swept Milwaukee, I think, twice or we beat or 8 and 1 against them in the playoffs in this video. But yeah, that is going to be it for me. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this challenge video. You guys are going to get an upload tomorrow. Also, tomorrow is the NBA Finals. I believe the next rebuild will be a what if the Knicks don't get a Kyrie, a KD in this offseason or an AD. So, and then we're just kind of like a realistic rebuild because I know a lot of people have been asking for that. And then I do want to do once the NBA season ends. So, if it does end, on Monday and the Raptors win the finals. I will be making my final, or I guess not my final, but just a free agency prediction video. So that'll be coming. But yeah, that's gonna be for me. Thank you all for watching. I love you guys. I'll see you guys next video. Enjoy your Sunday. Peace.